me get uh, the ping out and everything, and we can get started as I see some people coming into our stage channel. Hello, everybody. Um, let us know if you can hear us all good, or at least if you can hear me all good um, while we get everything set up here. Can somebody in chat just say yes, can hear you? Actually, they're typing. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting a DM. Uh, sound is good for YouTube. Oh, I hear, hold on, I gotta, I gotta turn the volume down. Okay, now, now I can hear. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna get started in just a moment, and I will do our little intros. Uh, but first things first, I'm gonna send out the ping in town hall, and get uh, get some folks in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome in as everybody starts coming on in. Welcome. Greetings, everybody. Welcome. I'm just going to give everybody a second to shuffle in here before we officially get started. Can everyone find a seat? Yes. Yeah, take a <laughs> seat. Sit down. Grab yourself uh, a nice drink, a snack, and come hang out with us with some color together. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hello, everybody in Town Hall, and hello on YouTube. We're actually cross-streaming this little event here to both our Discord YouTube channel and to our town hall stage. So for those of you who are on YouTube and you're not familiar, uh, we have a cool Discord server called Discord Town Hall. It's our official Discord server where we have been hanging out. Uh, we've specifically this past month been celebrating our birthday uh, and we're still celebrating Discord's birthday. Activities have been free for everybody and if you want to play some really fun activities anywhere in town hall you can do so by hopping in either a voice channel a dm a group dm you press that little that little rocket ship button and that'll launch an activity and you can play a bunch of awesome activities like uh, color together or not color together yet yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment uh sketch heads uh, is a great one. Gartic Phone, uh, Bobble League, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a lot of different uh, activities you can play. But if you're looking now and you're like, "What is this activity? Uh, what what do we got going on here?" This is a um, a soon to come activity called Color Together. It is very very fun, and uh, I have some awesome guests with me that we will be playing Color Together together. Uh, and giving you all a little preview of what Color Together is and how fun and relaxing it can be because it really is a great activity to just kind of zen out, relax with friends, and do some coloring in some fun coloring pages. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce our guests. Uh, our two guests here, Rose Doodle and Eye Candy, they have previously been in our town hall stage event for a Gartic phone activity event we did a couple of weeks ago, but they're joining me again. And today we're gonna do kind of like a little q and I'm gonna ask them some questions while we are doing these various coloring pages in uh, Color Together. Uh, so let's introduce them. Um, Rose, let's start with you. Oh, hi, uh, my name is Rose, but a lot of people know me as Rose Doodle. I am a VTuber uh, and illustrator from Canada. And I like to chat and play games, do VR, do that kind of stuff. Uh, kind of unhinged, kind of weird, but I do my best. It's nice to meet you! And Rose also did the awesome emotes that you see in Town Hall. Uh, oh, yeah. Our uh, Mallow Wumpus Cake mm -hmm. and our, uh, our Cake Smash as well. Yeah, so I if you... Yep, if you see the Wumpus Cake uh, and the Cake Smash and the Mallow emotes and, and stickers, uh, you should absolutely spam them in Town Hall chat right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like them. <laughs> and uh, next up, let's introduce our next guest, uh, iCandy. Hello. 
<clears throat> hi sorry hi i'm eye candy uh, also virtual content creator and vtuber uh, i stream games coding um whatever i want really i just have fun with it i'll get really obsessed with the topic and i'll deep dive it and uh yeah i that's me uh i they pronouns were mentioned they them but i really don't mind uh so hello everyone <laughs> That's my really so, cool introduction. <laughs> yes. Um, so our two guests here are, are very much uh, creatives, uh, and they do a lot of uh, really creative stuff. We did our when we did our Gretic phone event. Uh, they were very good at uh, drawing, uh, and it was really fun to watch. Uh, this one is a little less. We can just kind of just color in our little our little spaces here and hang out. So we've started the first page a little bit. So let's. Let's see if we can finish coloring in this specific page. Um, and I'll give everybody a little bit of a explanation on uh, what color together is. So it's kind of like a color by numbers. So if you just uh, click on one of these colors on the side here, these are all of the colors on the left hand that you uh, will be coloring in. So I am just gonna click a random one here. And once you do click on one of the colors, you can uh, see the, the spaces that you would need to color them in and it'll take you through all of the various colors. Uh, so it's kind of nice because as you do it, like there's a little, a little music and the music is very soothing and it's just very satisfying to yeah. be able to uh, finish coloring in. So if you guys want, feel free to join me by the way, if you wanna also uh, join in on the coloring. I do. Rose and I have been competing. <laughs> yeah, we keep trying to steal most of from each other. It sometimes oh. is also a bit of a competition because uh, you want to see like who can color in the fastest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it does. It does sometimes bring in a little bit, even though it's supposed to be more of a relaxing game. Uh, oh. And one, one other thing, like another pro tip about this is. If you are like using one of the colors and coloring in and you're, you can't see where what's left to color for that particular color, sometimes on the right hand side, a little magnifying glass will pop up. And if you click on that, it'll direct you to where the spot is that you might've missed. That's so, so this is, useful. I know this will lead a board. This changes everything. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there is. On the yes. right. I don't like that. That's <laughs> Yay. <laughs> So I'm actually, what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna go to the home. Um, so if you click the top right, uh, it'll take you to the home page. And this is our full selection of coloring pages. So do you all, if you all wanna look through, if there's any that are particularly uh, calling to you, uh, I am happy to to do some, some voting on which one we wanna do. I was looking, oh, yeah. at, the, I was looking at the floral ones. That's <gasps> the floral these are very pretty. Oh my gosh. The second one and the floral one's really pretty. And the fourth one? Oh, oh. Do, yeah. You know, let's do it. Let's do a floral. I kind of like the fourth one that looks like almost like a cherry blossom. Yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Sure. Okay, so if you all click on it, it should take you to the page with me, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh, I've zoomed in far too much. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm good. I've caught up. Oh. Nope. No? Oh, just give me a second. Yeah, I'll I'm fine. catching up. <laughs> so it should be on the one with the... F yeah, there we go. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Time to do some coloring. This one's really pretty. Holy. It's really pretty, but so high detail. Mm hmm. So, while we're uh, doing our coloring, um, I have some questions for you all. Um, I actually think so. We've, I've been doing this for our previous guests that we've had on for stage events, uh, more of like icebreaker kind of fun questions. 
And then I have some more like questions about you, your guys' uh, you know, experience as artists. But first, I want to do some of these fun icebreaker ones. Uh, they're like this or that. So I'll go down the line and tell me which one you prefer uh, in, in this or that. So sure. the first one is uh, coffee or tea. Uh, Rose, which one? Which one do you oh, prefer? I, I actually really don't like coffee, so I'm very strongly oh. on the tea side. I have found like maybe one or two coffee bags, but tea, like chai, iced vanilla chai tea is probably my favorite. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, and what about you? I. Uh, I like peppermint tea. That's like, uh, oh. like I'll drink coffee out of necessity, like if I'm really tired. But generally, I like tea. So we have mm. two tea two tea folk here uh chat let us know as well what your uh, preference is if you're a coffee person or a, or a tea person uh previous guests have been pretty strongly coffee uh i feel like that's probably the majority uh like wow i know too i feel like i'm an oh. outlier there <laughs> a lot of chat is also saying tea wow yeah oh my people hey <laughs> <laughs> Um, give me one sec, actually. I'm going to restart the activity. If, if, by the way, if it's a little, like, uh, laggy or you're having issues with the Zoom, um, feel free to just pop out really quick and restart it, because uh, oh, yeah, okay. mine's having a little bit of lag, so I'm going to yeah. BRB, everybody. Give me a second. I'm, I'm, yeah, I can't zoom in, and I didn't want to say anything, because I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just spam clicking and I think I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was doing too, but I think we just go like this. Okay, I'm getting it. Oh, I'm getting it, but it's like a... Okay. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. Let's Coloring see. is this easy, everyone. Try it for yourselves. <laughs> Okay, it's gotten mine's mine's better now. Cool. So do, do we leave the activity and come back in? Yes, I would just yeah, or just drop. Uh, I would even just drop from the the VC and then uh, rejoin if you're having some lag. Yeah, I'll do that too. One moment. Cool, cool. I will. I will be. I will remain in color for everybody. Yeah, because the only issue is I can't scroll around on the picture. I can only scroll to the top yeah, corner. Yeah, mine's giving me the same thing. Maybe this is just a challenge map and you just have to yes. get really good. <laughs> All right, everyone. This is a speed run. This is our world record coloring <laughs> in sheet. Please, yes. keep, please record the time and keep us posted on how we're doing. Yes. I know. <laughs> we I'm on the wall. I'm on the one that's getting like all these little pollens, and they're very, very tiny. And I'm like, yeah. do we want to try a different coloring in shade? Do we want to? Yeah, continue? you know that what? Let's try. Let's try one of the. Uh, oh so yeah, those little tiny pollens. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, let's yeah. click the the home, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to one of the uh, the Discord ones. So if we go back to the <laughs> the Clyde, um, oh, which one do we want to do? Um, oh my gosh, these are so... like, goofy-looking one, like, that's, uh, like, got a, got mallow in the front, it looks like, uh, on the right side, end of the second Oh, I know the one you're talking about. Oh, yes, okay, so yeah. second row, yeah, let's do, let's do this one. Second row, mm -hmm. last one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go, okay. <laughs> Time to do some coloring. <laughs> Okay, so more this or that questions. Uh, next, this or that, and chat, feel free to uh, participate as well. Uh, do you like summer or winter? Okay, it looks like uh, chat is pretty divided. Um, I see a lot of cats and I see a lot of dogs. So, and that's fair. I think that both are great. I myself am more of a cat person. But uh, I do not disparage dogs, <laughs> so <laughs> both yeah. both are fine. <laughs> um, okay, next question. Next, this or that? Um, tacos or burritos? 
I have a controversial take in that I don't really care for either. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I like the stuff that's in that, but I don't like it all together. Mm. I like tacos. No, that's I don't know. I don't, no controversial take on my part. I just like tacos. <laughs> so valid. I, I'm, I'm the same. So. Mm. You don't like you like tacos? I'm a, I prefer tacos. I think. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, lads. What, what's this last little bit? Where we're for? is all right? Oh, well, mag help me, magnifying glass. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yay! Yeah. Oh, this one's so cute. You know, so <laughs> I like the bat on that one. That one was very cute. Mm -hmm. Oh right, these are all the these are some uh, like birthday themed ones. So we should have the birthday themed ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, next this or that because they're fun. Um, Wumpus or Nelly? Oh, I feel so mean answering this. I know, right? I know. I'm it's making Wumpus. you choose. I just love him so much. He's so Nelly. cute. Nelly. Okay. I got you, Nelly. I got it covered. <laughs> Fighting for my life and color together with Rose. <laughs> Nelly's cute. I like Nelly. Nelly is cute. I just yes. like Wumpus more. It's because of the leaf on, on Wumpus's head, I think. Yeah. I see it, I'm like, hee hee, my heart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, chat, let us know your your uh, your opinions on this debate. Wumpus or Nelly? Who do you choose? Okay, we got some Nelly. Okay. All right, Nelly. Yeah, I, I mean, it is hard. Again, this is another hard one, because I feel like... Uh, Wumpus has both... an unfair advantage. Yeah, like, Wumpus is... Flagship, yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nelly's getting love in chat, so I guess Nelly wins this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and okay, next one is touching grass or a lo-fi cozy night. Which would you prefer? Like co cozy indoors or going out and touching grass? Oh no, cozy indoors, 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 indoors. <laughs> indoors. Okay, okay, yeah. Don't <laughs> make me go outside. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna vote on this one too. I can look at grass on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cozy night in. A lot of people are also saying cozy night in rather than. Uh, okay, a couple of going out. Uh, outdoors. Okay, yes. Uh, I think I would be probably stay in as well. That's probably what I would vote. <clears throat> So we're just all a bunch of indoorsy, indoorsy yep. babes. Which, huh? you know, makes sense. Um, just, you know, everybody on Discord, make sure you take your, uh, practice your self-care and step away <laughs> from the Discord servers <laughs> every once in a while if you need to. Take you can go outside on Discord, don't worry. Yeah, That's you can, true. actually. You know, mm. just check, check your phone. Uh, it's, it's totally fine. So yeah, you can, you can technically do that as well. Yeah. Mm. Let me see where the last color is on this one. Okay, so as we're doing our relaxing coloring, and I've done some of the uh, the fun this or this or that ones. Um, yeah, relaxing slash. As Rose and I are like competing <laughs> for our lives. See, I'm taking my time. I'm like la la, like going through my questions. <laughs> well, no, I have to color them all. I Every know we should. One. I was gonna win Track once, and then I'll, and then I'll give up forever. I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a hug <laughs> violently. Sorry, I, you were I don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we're so, semi competitively coloring in our, <laughs> our coloring page here, um, I wanted to ask you guys some, some questions uh, about just like being creatives in the space, being streamers, like what mm -hmm. your experience has been like. Um, so. I guess my first question, and I'll ha you know have both of you answer uh, how you want. Um, like, what is your favorite medium for art and creativity? Like, is it like digital? Is it being you know just like more like pen and paper? What what's your personal favorite uh, medium? Uh, so Rose, I'll start with you. I okay, so I prefer digital art for stuff that I really want to like refine and finish. But I think that there's just something really nice about like sketching on paper with pencils. But I would say overall digital, just like 
because it's what I have the most experience and times with. Okay. <clears throat> and what about you? Uh, I, do you have a preference for your, like, for creative stuff? Um... I, I started doing digital art when I was like 11 or 12, so I was really young. Um, so I I feel like I've always kind of just done digital art, but I really like gouache and watercolor. I wish I was better with that. Um, and I also, did, I also did oil painting, but oil painting is uh, a whole thing. Like there's a lot of steps involved and there's like proper ways to dispose of like, the waste and stuff. So, so in terms of ease of use and, and in, uh, like what I do the most is definitely digital art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and I know you uh, you have kind of your um, like your VTubers and your characters and your inspiration. Like I'm kind of curious where the inspiration came for those characters. Uh, like what was it something that you you both like you designed or you had something like in mind that you wanted to do? Like, what was the creative process? <laughs> well, I just designed myself and I didn't like it. So then I redesigned myself a bajillion times until I found something I was happy with. And it was just a matter of getting the color scheme that I wanted. And like, the like, what I wanted was like a comfy, casual, like dorky vibe, you know? So I just kind of went for that. <laughs> um, I... Uh, I also went through a lot of different iterations. Originally, I looked a lot like, and I'll just use the character as an example. I, I looked a lot like Natsuki from Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, and I used to like be very like bubbly and high pitch and energetic. <laughs> and then um, over time, I just kind of, uh, I grew along kind of with my character, I guess. And I instead now, I'm a lot more like disheveled scientist type character. And I also wanted to kind of be like a villain because I feel like in the VTuber space, people... I just I just feel like there was a gap for, like, kind of villain-coded people. Um, mm. So, and I also just wanted to have... Uh, I don't know, I just wanted to, like, have... Because I really like, li like lilac -y kind of, like, li white hair. So I just did that. Like, I've kind of just... And then that was October last year, and I'm kind of happy where I'm at now. So I feel like I'm in the design I'm going to stay in. But previously, I kind of just did what I thought I should do, and then eventually, I did what like actually suited me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. that's that's really cool. And how did you both get into like the VTuber space in general? Like, was it something um, uh, you you discovered and you were like, I need to be in this? Was it, like a gradual process? Like, how did it start for you both? I so I started VTubing in 2018, and back then, in like the English speaking community for VTubing, it was like barely existent. Uh, and so, like, there wasn't really a known term for it. I just saw someone using a live 2D model on YouTube. And I was like, I want to be anime now. And so I just kind of went for it. I found, uh, I, like, researched live 2D and made a, like, a very janky model. And I just went for it. And people were like, how are you working this character on this VT? And I was like, I don't, I, I don't know, anime girl-itis. What do you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just, it just kind of happened. <laughs> Um, I found out about a program called Vroid because I always wanted to do live 2D, but live 2D was really complicated and there wasn't many tutorials. Uh, but there's a program called Vroid, which is now available on Steam. Um, anyone can download from it, like download the program and make their own avatar, basically. Um, so I, my partner basically linked me to like some tutorials for how to become a VTuber and then I just did it because I previously streamed like IRL stuff and I just didn't like it as much. I like YouTubing. I like YouTubing a lot because it lets you just be, like, you can look however you want and it's less, like, you can just kind of turn up and just do whatever instead of feeling like you have to turn on the camera and be, like, accountable for your appearance. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's very yeah. chill. Yeah, you can, yeah. you can stream in your PJs, you know? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah PJs. <laughs> Bliss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these are so colorful. Uh, I love these. This I thought it was this one was gonna be more like space. Uh, like, but I like the pink helmet. Uh, yeah, for, I was for, expecting very colorful like space. Yeah. <laughs> I like this little worm guy. He's cute. This is very cute. Yeah, I'm playing cards. Cute. 
So, um, my next question is how do you both share your art with your community? Like what kind of means, is it just like via, is it via Twitch streaming or are there other uh, like outlets that you uh, share uh, your art with your community? Oh, so I, I do stream art on Twitch. Uh, but I also stream like a bunch of other stuff like chatting, gaming, etc. But for mm -hmm. art, I also post my art on Twitter. I also have a like personal website where I try to update my uh, portfolio when I can. But that's a little less updated. I feel like the best place to get like the newest stuff is through my Twitch. For me. I won by accident that time. I'm really happy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was moving really going slower because I wanted you to get something. Shut up. Do <laughs> <laughs> um, you want me to try hard? I don't. I've given up. That's that's all I wanted. Anyway. I'm gonna strangle you later. Alright. Uh so with regards to sharing my art, um, I mainly just do art streams. Uh and then I share stuff on Twitter mainly. Which I uh, I think there's a lot of like formal platforms you can share your art on, but because um, I think it's a little bit different because I think some people are aiming to get commissions and things like that or turn it into like their full-time job whereas I just do art because I enjoy doing it it's a little bit of a different thing I think you're I think that's something that gets lost a lot in the community is like the pressure to be like how do I turn this into a job like how mm. do I turn so like I don't really do what's algorithmically best I just kind of share my art and just have fun with it um, yeah yeah which, which is valid, and if that's what you want to do, you can do that. Don't feel pressured to, like, turn it into work if you don't want to. Yeah. Up to you. Yeah. Up well, I used you, to chat. turn it into work. I, like, before, before yeah, streaming, which I is did valid art too. full time, like, for emails mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, but, I don't know, I just, once, once stream, like, took off, I was like, mm. I'm just gonna draw for fun now. I think it's just good to share your art, regardless of skill level or whatever you're, like, whatever you're doing. I think it's just, I think it's valuable just to share it. I agree. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. That's really good advice. Yeah. Um, I was zoned out from the coloring in. So. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then just, do you have any, uh, do you both have any general advice or tips for folks who want to grow their own community? Whether it be through art uh, and creative stuff or just in general. Um, any, any general tips or advice for growing a community? Oh boy, I would say my, my thing is like, do not just try and stick purely to marketing stuff. If you want to attract a community that you're actually going to vibe with, that actually makes sense for you and all that stuff, I, I do think it makes more sense to do things you actually enjoy because then you'll attract people who enjoy the same things as you. And if you're doing that, then you're going to have more of a like firm grasp on like community building and stuff. You're not going to have like people who are just there because they think they're gonna get like a giveaway item or you know anything like that so i think that g being genuine is like the most important thing aside from marketing which the reality is that it is important but if you if you're marketing something that's not you you might not be marketing the right thing mm. yeah uh my advice that i always give is be really stringent with how you moderate like don't be afraid to get rid of people if they give you a weird vibe or if they make you uncomfortable or anything like that because i find a lot of the time online people are very inclined to like give people the benefit of the doubt and they end up with people in their community that make them just not feel good like i i just i i because that's what i used to do i used to be very like um I wouldn't curate my community very well and then I would just kind of like end up being a place I didn't I didn't even want to be. So I think it's important to like set boundaries and remove people if they make you uncomfortable. Um, which obviously is easier said than done because it's like, oh, but I want to have lots of people in my community. But the people that you have in your Discord, your streams, whatever, is going to be the people you attract. So if there's people mm -hmm. in your community or in your Discord that make you uncomfortable or un like whatever, whatever it is, it doesn't even have to be annoy you. Like I just have some people that I ban because they just their sense of humor just doesn't match the community vibe, or they'll just say things or do things that make me uncomfortable. And I'm like, I don't want more of that. So I'm pretty big on like just removing people and making space for people that are a bit more in line with what I think is uh, what I want yeah. for my community. Which I, and I I, tell, I give that advice all the time because I find people again are very inclined to give people the benefit of the doubt which isn't a bad instinct it's just know when to 
know when to do that yeah. as opposed to being the default because sometimes people will take advantage of that and that, that's probably what? maybe a little bit too like serious as advice but i think it's really important i think no. it's really important too like you helped encourage me to do that with my own stuff because like for a long time i would let habits that i didn't really partake in go and then it's like well this goes like when you have a discord community it's like that's your house right so if you mm -hmm. let someone into your house yep. and they're not acting I told in a way you, that you it? want them acting in their house i think it was yeah yeah um, it's like you gotta make sure that they're following your house rules and your house vibes or they can go to a different house and have fun at that house instead mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. These are great tips, um, and I I love that. Uh, so everybody, you know, in town hall and even on YouTube, um, these are great things to consider, like when you're running a community. Um, and even like for us at Discord, we have a lot of like things about safety and moderation. Um, we we had a whole like safety panel a couple of months ago here in town hall with something similar, where it is kind of like, yeah, you're inviting people into your home, and if you feel uncomfortable and if like the vibes aren't matching um it's it's okay to to have that level of moderation so uh yeah i think these are great great tips so like authenticity that was the first part like making sure you're you're being genuine with your community and then also like quality over quantity you don't need to have mm -hmm. a million people in your server you can you can have uh you know a, a smaller size with like genuine people i think that's really really great tips hmm. yeah yeah 100%. That's always the places that I tend to hang out the most is where there's like people that are just like, like, just being like themselves. Even if even if they're kind of weird or whatever, because like if you if you're weird and you are hanging out with a bunch of weird people, like, then you're all weird and you're all vibing. Like it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just realized this one that we're doing right now is like almost like a, a D and D or tabletop um like little yeah. terrain. Which is adorable as I play a lot of uh, tabletop games and like D&D &D and stuff. Me too. So <laughs> this is like the cutest one we've done so far. <laughs> I'm very yeah, excited. This. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at the little wumpus with the shield. I love this. <laughs> oh, it's definitely like tabletop because he's sitting on, he's got like a platform. Like he's yes. a little right here. Yeah. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. And this little like mallow monster at the bottom yeah, here. Yeah, he's cute. This is very cute. I, I like this one a lot. Uh, and uh, just just another reminder for anybody who may have joined in on the stream a little bit late to give a refresher of what we're doing here. Uh, we're playing some color together. This is a Discord activity that is not quite yet released, um, but stay tuned. It's getting its, its final polishes before uh, we share it with the world. So this is kind of more of a, of a little preview of, of the activity. Oh, I don't know which one to pick. Uh, okay, let's do this one. <laughs> uh, so this is basically how it is. It's a more of like color by the numbers. Uh, you select a number on the left side here, and you color in in the designated spots for that color. And it's meant to be relaxing. Mm -hmm. um, it's meant to be something that you can just kind of do, like if you're like in a voice channel with your friends and you guys are just hanging out and, and vibing, you can uh, launch this activity and uh, do some coloring, but it can get a little bit competitive, especially when you're all trying to click, <laughs> click the same ones um, at the same time. I uh, added a leaderboard. That was the yes. The <laughs> on on the right side, you can see who's in the lead for the most colored Wait, in the spaces. <gasps> Wait, yes. No. Oh, I, I need to just, win. I thought you were just you were taking it easy. You were trying to let me win. I was, but now that I see that you're winning, I want to try again. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with, chat. <laughs> I cause problems on purpose. See, my strategy is I I like go and I scroll down on the left side and just pick a random color and I'm like I'll just go from here. It, you yeah, guys like go smart. down the line and you're like. <laughs> I think that's our own version of honor because we're just like. Yes. I try not to yeah. jump ahead. <laughs> I feel um, like if I if I skip ahead, that means I haven't finished that color and I'm like no. I just don't do it because I feel like it's cheating in regards to what version I have going on. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I could do that, but. Yeah, but... Actually, I'll do it right now. Bye. <gasps> Shame! Wow. Oh, Lord. See, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here and just start <laughs> coloring on the... All, making my way up the coloring page. Uh, 
Okay, so more questions. Um, next question I have is, uh, how did you both uh, get on Discord? And, and how long have you been on Discord? What's oh. in, yeah, what's, oh, what's your God. Discord journey, if you remember? <laughs> I think my very first account was in 2015, so it's been a while. Okay, okay. Uh, but I think I forgot what email I used for it, and that's how I ended up with the one I have now. Uh, and then I like started streaming on Twitch, and I was like, I need a place to like vibe with people when I'm not live. So then my Discord server was born, and I was like, oh heck yeah! So then we you know go in there and we play games, we like chat. You know, we just I, I also like making emotes, so that was kind of a big sell for me. Uh, so I I draw all my own emotes, and my server is like full of emotes I've made myself for my community. Uh, and I always like really enjoy being able to be like, what do you guys want for a server? And I'll be like, I want a this look! And I would just go crazy on it. <laughs> so that's uh, the kind of stuff that drives me. Yeah, I mean, I'm similar. I actually started in using it in- Oh, I want- <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, I started using it in 2015, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, but then I ended up making a whole new account when it became a VTuber. Um, which- uh, was is okay, but also the username thing is now I'm just like waiting to get permission to get a username, but that's mm -hmm. uh, that's fine. Um, uh, but then I uh, I don't really remember how I got into it. I think just everyone started using it and being like, oh, you should try this platform, and I really liked the w the fact that it was so easy to make servers um, and to find communities as well. Um, uh, yeah, I, I I don't remember specifically how I got into it. I think it was just friends recommended it to me and then I kept using it because it was just really easy to use. And then everyone else was using it as well. So it was like very accessible and easy to find people. And um, I like it more than like Twitter DMs or something. And there's no other platform that really does what Discord does. So I appreciate mm -hmm. it for that. Yeah. Uh, and you both have, you both have uh, like your own communities on Discord as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, What's it? Uh, how? What's your servers like? Like, how's it been for you? Like, do you do any fun stuff, or you just kind of like pop in and just be like, "Hi," and like let people hang out and chat, or like, what's your what's your guys' uh, communities like? I mostly just kind of vibe. Uh, I do have like uh, like I do add emotes and like ping everyone when I make them, and then they start spamming the reactions like to the announcement with it because I always like make sure they know. Uh, <laughs> but like. Most of the time, it's like, uh, impulsive gaming, or just chatting, or, uh, once in a blue moon, I'll be like, I feel like drawing, but I don't feel like streaming, so I'll just, like, go mute and, like, uh, broadcast, like, clips to the point, whatever the fuck, whatever the heck else I'm drawing on. Uh, but yeah. I mostly uh. just kind of do that. My community has the energy of like insects under a rock, and I'll occasionally pick it up and go look at them, and then they'll freak <laughs> out and run. Um, <laughs> so they're not used to like, because I I am just really uh, I'm really good at keeping up with DMs, in my opinion. When it comes, I have I have a lot of servers that I'm in, and even including my own. I I, I think my well, I have one channel called Rat Chat, and it's just a channel where people just post pictures of rats, and they also have like oh cat gosh. chat, I think, and it's just a bunch of cats. Uh, and there's like people recommend like um, games or they'll put like art and yeah it's it's just it's kind of like a nice little place to like touch base especially with the convention recently I was able to go in there yeah. and see people like talking about like oh I saw candy and da 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 yeah. so, people like, are things... doing that for me too it's so yeah it's definitely something that I want to reassess and like maybe overhaul in time which I think is a good thing to do in general with your discord um, mm -hmm. if you have a server or a community it's just to like, kind of touch base and like see like what channels are being used like what do i need to like maybe alter or like reformat and things like that i think it's um it's good to just kind of let it run but then sometimes it might just be good to like double check and see that everything's going the way that it should yeah yeah that's also really good advice like i feel like it's good to like when running discord servers too it can be very much um sometimes you experiment with things and they don't work or you see that like there's another community doing something kind of cool and you're like oh cool i'm gonna try that um so it's nice to just kind of like it's totally fine to experiment with things and if they don't yeah, work exactly. like you can just not do it anymore um mm -hmm. and you know there's nothing wrong with that and you know testing things out yeah, yeah. i think 
I think it's, yeah, it's very, uh, it's, it's very easy to, like, make channels, uh, like a, like a, how would I say it? Like, you can make kind of test channels and try out things and then make them mm -hmm. public when you're ready, as opposed to, like, yes. um, feeling like everything has to be public from the second that you post it in the, Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I've also, I also have a dummy server that I set up things and I'll see if, like, it, like I'll lay out how I want the server to look and then I'll, I'll update it to the main one. Yes. Um, yeah. Also a good pro tip, yeah, to get yourself a test server. Oh, yeah. Which one? Which one? Oh, let's try this one. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we've gone through a lot of these um, Discord themed ones, which is great. Uh, they've been yeah. very, very fun. <laughs> Although I'm taking it easy now because I'm just enjoying myself and the act of coloring every time I click roses there. Get out of here. <laughs> I'll chill out, I'll chill out. <laughs> no, it's cool. I thought you, you were going time. hard again because you're like, I want to I had my hand off the I'm... mouse for like five minutes before. I think I did that briefly too, yeah. <laughs> is that the time that I won? Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> uh, no, it's because I was like, wait, I'm being, I'm being very ze overzealous. That's okay. Um, This one's really cute. This is very cute. cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this color is so cute. Oh, there it is. So, uh, we're in our last, like, 10-ish minutes of our stage mm -hmm. event. Um, so, I was going to ask, I guess kind of just more general, like, fun stuff. Um, back to the more general fun stuff. Uh, sure. Is there any, um, like, upcoming, like, well, for us in, in the U.S. or on, on this side of the hemisphere, it's uh, we, we have summer coming up, and there's a lot of, like, new game releases and, like, movie releases and things like that. Is there any upcoming uh, releases that you guys are excited about uh, coming up? Whether it be, it doesn't necessarily have to be a game release um, or, you know, movies, anything like that, uh, that that's coming up this summer that you guys are excited about. Oh, so it, it already released, but I really want to play the new Zelda game. Yes. Uh, I haven't had a chance to touch it yet, but everyone's saying it's really fun and like, even though some things may be like rehashed, essentially, uh, that it still has a lot of like gameplay value, so I really want to indulge. Uh, I want to play Amnesia Bunker. Oh, yes. I, I saw that. Um, yes. Yeah. Is that a new Amnesia game? Like a horror game? Yes. <gasps> yep. Wait, I want to play that? What? I didn't yes. know. Yes. I also want to play more Outlast Trials. I played that already came out like a week or two ago, and I played so much of it. And that's one of the new, well, I guess kind of a new title, but I played so much of Outlast Trials, and I'm excited to play more Outlast Trials. <laughs> <laughs> so a fan oh. of the horror games and the the mm. scary games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I I guess like I don't know. It's so funny because like I growing like I was in high school and I was talking about like uh, I was talking about how I, I've never watched horror stuff, and all my friends are like. This is horror. This is horror. This is horror. This is horror. It's like, oh, is that is that what horror is? <laughs> I don't know. I just like uh, like the Halloween movies and stuff like that. I'm mm -hmm. like, I didn't really think of that as horror, but then I'm like, oh wait, probably is. I don't know. I have a bad I have a bad judgment of horror. I just think wow. it's goofy. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I think like the Soul movies are probably like I'm like Ooh, that's that's more like gory. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to think of like other stuff I'm excited for. Um. I'm I, honestly I'm the kind of person that something comes out and then everyone talks about it and then I get excited because I used mm -hmm, to get excited mm -hmm. for launches before they came out but then I would get burned so much that I'm just like I I'm immune to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know today later today is the summer summer games fest um, that should have a mm. bunch of like new trailers and things so mm. I I'm very excited to see what might be announced uh, today. I'm trying to think for myself too what I'm excited about. Um, there is, so we definitely, the Discord community team has been all about Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so yes, mm. agree on that one. Um, even, yeah, actually, yeah, uh, Quick Blend and Helvetic Cat, we were talking about the new Amnesia game and we're trying to get Helvetic Cat to play <laughs> Amnesia, oh. but I think she's like, I'm good. <laughs> Aww. It's so, so fun. Feel, like, scared. Yeah. So she's mm -hmm. cute. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but I, I too would like to check that out. I think um, 
There is, oh, the new Witcher Netflix show is coming out this month. Um, oh, is that with be, the recast? Uh, this one is still going to have Henry Cavill this season. Um, okay. But they, I think they're going to have a new trailer today. So that I'm mm. looking forward to seeing. <laughs> this is a weird picture. Everyone's getting eaten. I know, this one is kind of trippy. <laughs> that is very trippy. I want to try the happy birthday one. Let's try this one. I've, we've seen this one a couple of times come up, so yeah. let's do it now. <laughs> oh, it's furries, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is so cute. What is this? Is this like, look at all the... banana. Is this just everyone's feet? I was going to say, is this just the feet? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some people who will really enjoy yep. this. You may know, right? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Not, not personally, me personally, like, I'm not, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it like it, but, like, I think there's some people out here, this will be their favorite one. Uh, that's that's hilarious. Um, okay, so, the last, uh, so, the, the last thing, by the way, for anybody, uh, in chat and anybody who, who's watching, uh, I know many of you are patiently waiting for the secret code that we've been giving away secret codes uh, in all of our stage events. This secret code is canvas. So C-A-N-V-A-S, like a blank canvas that we are coloring on. That is the secret word, canvas. Uh, so I will, I will not give any other context. Uh, if you know, you know, the secret word is canvas. Back to our coloring. Um, I think so my skill is finding the random little tiny piece. I think that's the that's what I contribute yes. to the coloring in page. Like yeah. <laughs> that's the most fun part, honestly. Yeah. I'm I'm just very curious to see how this one is going to to end up. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, no, this is so fun and hip happening. What is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's a, no a monkey, a werewolf man, tentacle. Uh, where yeah, I'm who like, are these people? Who are these people? Oh, and what, a knife. Who, who, this is, oh my gosh. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we've colored so many pages and it's nice that it shows them colored. Let's do this one yeah. as our, our last coloring page for the stream. Um, so let's, let's make it count. <laughs> Here's our last oh. one. <laughs> As Rose speed runs it. <laughs> yeah. I just get I just get excited. <laughs> uh, so hope that everybody in chat has been um, enjoying our little color together activity thus far. Uh, so uh, to to re repeat, if you were joining in late, um, this is a unreleased Discord activity, but. Uh, as we're finishing this one up, hopefully we, you got to enjoy a little sneak peek of some of the different coloring pages. You got to enjoy them. There's a bunch of different themed ones. There's obviously a lot of like fun Discord themed ones, but also like some floral and botanical ones and mm -hmm. a lot of really great and fun coloring pages uh, that you all get to soon enjoy. Uh, and But for now, of course, uh, you can enjoy any of our other activities in uh, in Town Hall, or on your own servers, or in your DMs, or group DMs. All activities are free, and have been free, uh, until June 15th. Oh, yay! We did it! Oh, oh it's so quick. pretty! Yeah. Okay. pink, which confused me. Um, so as we wrap up our little Color Together stage event, um, don't forget everybody to play activities. Uh, they're a lot of fun. There's lots of fun, uh, again, like drawing themed ones like uh, uh, sketch heads and Gartic phone. Of course, there's some more competitive ones that we were playing last week, like Baba League and uh, Putt Party Paradise. So make sure to play uh, some fun activities with your friends. Uh, plan an activities game night. It's a really fun way to just hop in a voice channel, hop in a DM, spend some time with friends, or even play with some new people. We have a lot of channels in Town Hall. If you look down, uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see all of our Gathering Games channels, where a lot of people even right now are playing.
playing different activities. So make sure you uh, jump in there and, and play some activities. If you have nobody to play with, you can uh, start up a game with some folks in Town Hall and, and get, get, to, get to play in activities. Uh, do some jam space, watch together, whatever you want. Uh, you definitely should check them out. Uh, yeah. And it's I nice think... that activities are available in DMs now, too. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it is really nice. I know that was something that was highly requested, and a lot of people were asking, um, when are we going to get them in DMs? So now you yeah, can. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so I think that's it for us for today. Um, any last things? Where can people find you all? Um, I know in chat we've been linking all of your socials and everything, but if you have anything you want to plug, if you have stuff coming up, or just in general where people can find you guys and your your creative works. Uh, Rose, let's start with you. Uh, you can find me on the website's linked in the uh, the description thing, but you can also check more about me and also Candy on uh, yeah. bichibon.com B-C-H-I-B-A-N dot com uh, We have the, a little group with uh, the two of us and two of our other best friends who are kind of like a found family group uh, where we just like hang out and you know play games and, hang, and like do like stuff together that's what we're doing it over the weekend at the convention. Ooh, we were watching yeah, all fun. <laughs> yeah, we were all awesome. guests at a convention called Acon, and we uh we got to meet a bunch of like uh, community members and stuff. Many of who were sharing such cute photos on Discord, of, oh. like going to lunch and stuff together. And I was like, oh my god, you're so sweet. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They use Discord to find each other and to meet up and to share photos of it. And we yes. Got to <laughs> we love we love to see that. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, same thing on my part. Uh bichiban.com V C H I B A N dot com. Uh or Twitch TV slash I candy. But literally bichiban.com has literally every link possible that you yeah, can think for of us. Both of us and the yeah. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Yay. Well, everybody, everybody on YouTube, thank you for joining us. Everybody in town hall, thank you also so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed our little our little sneak preview of color together. Uh, go, go play some activities. Go have fun, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you.